Welcome to Training in Instructional Design. This will be a lecture on learning management systems. This is Lecture A. The learning objectives for the Learning Management Systems Unit are, number one, describe the basic functions and technologies in Learning Management Systems, or LMS, Content Management Systems, or CMS, Reusable Learning Objectives, or RLO, and Learning Content Management Systems, or LCMS. And two, identify the role of standards and open source initiatives in online learning. There are a few basic categories, computer systems, that manage the educational materials, enable communication, and track students' learning. In this section, we will look at what characteristics distinguish these computer systems and how each one is used. The four systems we will look at are learning management systems, content management systems, reusable learning objects, and learning content management systems. You should be familiar with the acronyms or abbreviations that trainers and educators use when referring to these systems. First, let us look at a computer-based learning system that is widely used in corporate training. The common abbreviation for a learning management system is LMS. What are the characteristics of an LMS, and why would a hospital or corporation decide to use an LMS in the training program? One common definition of an LMS is a software application for the administration, documentation, tracking, and reporting of training programs, classroom and online events, e-learning programs, and training content. The basic functions of an LMS include learner registration, creating schedule of recommended or required courses, tracking learners' participation in courses, testing learners, facilitating online discussions, creating reports on individual or groups of learners, processing fees and payments, scheduling training sessions and courses, and managing blended learning. A CMS, or Content Management Systems, are frequently used to support education or academic courses. The instructor can create a course website where documents can be uploaded in common formats such as Word, PowerPoint, etc., without having to convert them to a web format such as HTML. The students can read this material online or download the files to their personal computers. These systems require few specialized skills thus making a CMS the good choice for colleges and their faculty and students. CMSs also support distance learning with their robust synchronous chat and asynchronous discussion board communications tools. Instructors post the essence of the course that leads students through varied learning activities, after which the instructors supervise course discussions through the discussion board. Some common features of a content management system are online posting of course material, Materials such as reading copies and PowerPoint slides can be made available online, apart from the schedule of the course and its syllabus. Learner assessment. Learners can be assessed through online quizzes, tests, and gradebooks. Discussion forum. Discussions can be conducted through a discussion board, where notes are exchanged and topics discussed between formal classroom sessions. Communication. Communication is carried through announcements to classes and other tools to communicate individually. Allotment of drop boxes. Learners can store class assignments, class notes, or presentations in individual drop boxes. Collecting usage statistics. The course statistics can be reviewed at will, which details information about who used the site and when. A learning object is a resource, usually digital and web-based, that can be used and reused to support learning. Learning objects offer a new view of the learning process. Rather than the traditional hour-long chunk, they provide specific, smaller, self-contained, reusable units of learning. We already learned that adult learners perform best when the training is given in shorter 15 to 20 minute blocks. So you can see that the learning object approach meets one criterion for good adult learning instruction design. The most basic parts of a learning object are a learning objective, a learning activity, the activity is the body of the RLO, selected to meet the instructional strategy navigation to guide the learner through the session, assessment of the learner's KSA, knowledge, skills, or attitude, and tags or labels with metadata. Every learning object has descriptive information, allowing it to be easily found by a search. Learning objects are a new way of thinking about learning content. Traditionally, content comes in a several-hour chunk. Learning objects are much smaller units of learning, typically ranging from 2 minutes to 15 minutes, are self-contained, each learning object can be taken independently. Are reusable. A single learning object may be used in multiple contexts for multiple purposes. Can be aggregated. Learning objects can be grouped into larger collections of content. 
including traditional course structures. Reusable learning objects represent an alternative approach to content development. In this approach, content is broken down into chunks. From a pedagogical perspective, each chunk might play a specific role within an instructional design methodology. Each chunk must be able to communicate with learning systems using a standardized method that does not depend on the system. What happens within a chunk is the chunk's business. How a learner moves between chunks is controlled by the learning system. Each chunk must have a description that enables designers to search for and find the right chunk for the right job. Instead of thinking of training as a linear audio tape of your favorite album, you should view it as a CD with independent tracks you can mix and shuttle to make custom playlists. All of the tracks are related to each other, and you could listen to them in the original order, or you can pick and choose which ones you want to hear. For more information about reusable learning objects, you should go to www.reusability.org. There are many applications available to create standalone content creation tools. Most companies offer free trials for their software, so you can download one or two and try them. Here are a few links to get you started. At the Adobe website, there is a good paper that provides a background of the ADL SCORM specification with a high-level overview of SCORM and illustrates by example how a flash learning object can communicate with a learning management system, or LMS. We will discuss SCORM in more detail later in the unit. Also, look at Articulate, Camtasia, and Soft Chalk. To work as learning objects, video lectures should be short, single-themed, Mini lectures with a distinct format. YouTube videos are a good place to look for examples. Mini lectures, demonstration, interviews. Since videos can't be indexed or scanned by learners as readily as text can be, you can help the learner find a particular section of a video by providing on-screen subtitles with subheadings or main points. Some video formats such as QuickTime allow you to make chapters, so you can quickly jump to a section in the video. Downloadable transcripts of video learning objects are also appreciated by hearing impaired learners, second language learners, and multitasking learners distracted by phone calls and email while watching the video online. You could also purchase off-the-shelf RLO or find them at an online sharing site. At this time, you will not find many RLOs for EHR training, but now you know how to make them. MERLOT Merlot is a free and open online community of resources designed primarily for faculty, staff, and students of higher education from around the world to share their learning materials and pedagogy. WISC Online is a digital library of web-based learning objects. The digital library of objects has been developed primarily by faculty from the Wisconsin Technical College System, WTCS, and produced by multimedia technicians who create the learning objects. What happens when you want to use the learner management features of an LMS while creating many RLOs that can take advantage of the database and content management features of a CMS? You integrate all of these learning systems to make a learning content management system. Some features of an LCMS are the ability to quickly design and distribute training. Learners can access the training anytime and in small amounts spread across time. They can skip sections they've already mastered. The system can recommend additional training based on the learner's performance or interests. There are disadvantages to any learning system. Some of these are high implementation costs, so only large organizations can afford them, integration to other systems such as human resources or personnel, the users have to be trained on how to use the learning system before you can train them on the EHR. As with any technology, they become obsolete and have to be replaced. In this unit, we discussed how learning management systems work and the roles of these systems in an EHR implementation. These systems will leverage the high cost of people doing hands-on training and take advantage of the e-learning. Specific topics discussed in this unit were 1. The basic functions and technologies in learning management systems, LMS, content management systems, CMS, reusable learning objectives, RLO, and Learning Content Management Systems, LCMS. 2. The Fundamentals of Building a Training Program in an LMS and Applying Standards for Online Learning.